everyone, Serena here, Nimble's Instagram Content Specialist and welcome back to another Pro Tip Friday. Uh, for today's Pro Tip Friday, I'll be sharing with you the key elements to creating a good Instagram feed as well as how I edit my photos um, for Nimble's Instagram page. So some of the things that is important to me is number one, colour scheme. If you have been to Nimble's Instagram page, which you should, um, you would have realized that our colors are usually pink, white, and gold. Uh, these are the three main colors that are present in all of our posts. Uh, I think it is important for all posts to have the same colors so that um, all the posts that you post, all the posts, all the photos that you post uh, go together seamlessly. Uh, and how do I do that? Usually, I will pick and stick to one or two filters only for throughout all of my photos. Uh, secondly, would, to, would have to be spacing. Um, what does this mean? Spacing would be uh, some photos could appear, can appear to be too noisy uh, in a sense that there isn't a focus, there isn't a product in the middle that uh, bring focus to the photo. There's either too many people or too much colors in one photo. So what I usually do if I were to post um, a very busy looking photo would be to counter it with another clean and minimal looking post right after it so that um, the feed will have a balance that there isn't too many uh, busy photo going on all together at the same time uh, lastly I think it would have to be uh, consistency if uh, for example uh, Nimble's Instagram page are usually very bright looking and happy looking if I were to have a dark photo, I, I don't think I would post it. This is, um, what I mean is that if it doesn't fit to your feet, uh, don't post it. So uh, what I do is that I have two apps. One is VSEO and another one is Lightroom CC app. This is a simpler, simplified version of Lightroom on desktop. I will usually use Lightroom first. And okay, this is an example photo. I would play around with exposure. I love, I love very bright and clean looking minimal photo like this. A little bit of contrast to add in a little, uh, to add in a little bit more colors. Cause when we play around with exposure, we usually lose the colors in the photo. And. I like not this one and whites. I like to um, make it look a little brighter with whites. Okay, another thing that uh, I love about Lightroom CC is this color mix function. Basically, what this color mix function do is that um, it focuses on individual colors in the photo, and you can edit it. For example, red. The design is red in color, so. If I bring down the saturation, I will lose the red color for the dessert. But if I bring it up, I'm able to make it pop. Okay, so for this, our focus will be on the red dessert. So I'll add in a little bit, a little bit more saturation and luminance. What luminance do is that? Can you see? It gives a little glow to the color that we are focusing on. Okay, that's about it. And if you want to see the before and after, just tap and hold. And you can see what you have done to your photo. Another thing that I usually like is um, in color mix function as well. I like to remove yellow tones in my photo. Can you see a difference that makes? But for this photo, because I have a yellow colored drink, I can't really uh, remove the whole yellow tone altogether. So I just remove a little bit and luminance it a bit. And that's about it. Okay. And then um, what I can do. Oops. So what I do is I save it and then I'll go to VSEO. This is my VSEO page. 
I, I import the edited photo and on VSEO, I my personal favorite is the filter S2. It further enhances my photo and usually it looks a little too bright. So what I do is I bring down the saturation of this filter. Usually after when I'm after have I've edited on Lightroom, I usually don't go to VSEO. But if I have to then I'll use S2. Okay, let's take a look at this photo unedited. This is what it looks like without the Lightroom edits. So when I'm on VSEO, I'll just use S2. It gives me kind of like the same effect. Very bright, minimal looking. And I'll further enhance it with exposure. Contrast. Because we lose the colors. Okay, maybe we'll bring down exposure a little bit. And a little bit of saturation. What I usually like to do as well is to look at temperature. I don't really like um, warm tones. I don't like yellow colors in my photo. I prefer a blue tone, cooler tone. So I'll put it down, pull down the temperature a little bit. 